Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our All Your Trade Are Belong to Us campaign in Europe Universe House 4. So I've been thinking about it for a bit, and I think that for 20 Diplo points, even though I really shouldn't have to pay them, I'm going to separate piece Provence so I can humiliate him as well. He will accept already. Um, unfortunately, these peace deals are not going to give me enough prestige to actually get the mission satisfied and get up to level 3 stability, which would be very convenient. Um, there doesn't really seem to be much else that I could ask for. I mean, I could make him an a treaty for one prestige, but... I certainly don't want him to be friends with anyone. But these alliances are nothing major. Most of his alliances are already broken. So, you know, we'll, we'll take that. Just one last confirmation. It's not going to cause any extra aggressive expansion. Actually, yeah, it is. It's less aggressive expansion to take it from the war leader. 9.1 for these two provinces. Or if we take from Provence, 7.3. And then if we take from Savoy, 3.6. So yeah, altogether we end up with more aggressive expansion. But we get an extra humiliate. Which I think is going to be important. So I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, so yeah, I want that province from you with a humiliate. You'll give me that province, you'll give me war reps, you'll be humiliated. And that's all. And that should bring, hopefully, Austria or Castile over to deal with these noble rebels for me. I'm hoping. We'll stay at peace for a little bit longer while we wait for the opportunity to have enough points to start the core. No real point in ending the war before then, right? I mean, not while we can sit on this. Plus, we did have access to Provence for a while there. We were taking advantage of that estuary for a bit, which is nice. Okay, our uh, guys are done having any revolt risks, so I'll start converting Naxos. Sweden no longer considers Denmark to be a rival. How much you want to bet Sweden has, like, 100 power projection? They don't? 23? That's it? Wow. We have 69, by the way. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Um, bum 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 bum. A lot of military points. Denmark has announced the Livonian Order as their new rival. Good luck on that. How's the rest of expansion look? Actually, better than I would have expected. Okay, Papal State's fabricating on us. Awesome. Hey, Pope, I really think we should be friends. Like, if I have to, I'll take everything except for Rome until you stop rivaling me or stop being a jerk. You haven't rivaled me, but stop it. If I need to attack you, I will. Alright, somebody gonna come down here? Are you... you're not stranded. You're the... well, yes, you are stranded. You were the Emperor. Now you're not. Looks like they don't want to deal with my rebel for me. That's unfortunate. It is farmlands with a river crossing. One maneuver. We only have one maneuver. Man, Prospero's a good leader, too. This guy's just a god general, isn't he? But he can't cross the river freely, so... But it's got rivers on all sides, so we gotta take it. That stinks. There goes 3,000 manpower. Oh well, can we build more barracks? Indeed we can. We'll build them practically everywhere. So how are we going to get more prestige? I was supposed to mothball that navy. While we're waiting, we'll just loot this province, since it doesn't cost anything. Crimea has declared another war, Golden Horde. I thought they had vassalized the Golden Horde or something earlier, didn't they? I don't remember what they had done. I forgot now. Ceremony disrupted. Well, there goes our opportunity for this mission, I think. So we're just going to cancel it. This is not going to happen. Not anytime soon. The priest ability would be really, really nice, but... We can't count on it. 
We actually do have plenty of points. We can totally core right now. So I guess we end the war, right? Nothing I can do to convince you to not do this, right? Savoy will cede Vaud and Wallace to Switzerland. Savoy will be forced to give Switzerland 10% of their income. And all that, that's fine. Switzerland only suffered 2.2 .2 aggressive expansion for that. It would be crazy to, I don't know, full annex him or something, right? Milanese conquest of Wallace. Huh. Well, he's not going to be able to core any of this, so who knows what he's actually trying to do. This war is going to end up getting invalidated, I think. Hey, there we go. I mean, if we did vassalize him, it can't be done. It could be done, but can't be done. Okay, well, let's just deal with the uh, the fact that we're going to have... I mean, unless I want to break an alliance with Austria. How strong is Austria? They're not the emperor anymore, and they've got no manpower. 29,000 troops. They have rivaled Bohemia, France, and the Ottomans. So, I guess if I had to pick... Austria, they, did, they, they got their Burgundian inheritance really early, but if I had to pick between France and Austria, with Austria not being the emperor, I'd probably choose France. So, we'll try to do it quick. Let's have our diplomats, both of them, home. I think I might have just misclicked on a pop-up there. Alright, do those things. Give me the niece, give me the war reps, give me the humiliation. Sounds good. So we send. Now we're going to be at peace. Which means that we can disable... Get rid of this. Don't you dare unlawful territory me yet. Dissolve the alliance with Austria. And now we have negative seven reasons. Oh, it's so close. Diplo rep. If I start coring it right away, he might be less likely to, to ask me to do it. Nope. <laughs> you suck. Thank you for making everyone hate me. You bastard. And now he's hostile. <laughs> so we broke the alliance with Austria for no real reason. It's okay, we don't need those extra relationships. We already have uh, Poland and other stuff. France and I are not going to maybe get along quite as well as we continue to get borders, but we already have border friction. We do. I wonder how border friction is calculated now. It used to be based on bordering base tax. We'll side with, um, probably, probably Bohemia this time? No, we'll side with France. So it used to be based on the amount of shared, shared, uh, base tax that was on the border. Now it's... I'd be willing to bet, I bet you it's your, your, uh, development on the border divided by three, since there's three types. Because we have, we have three border friction. Let's see what our opinion of them is. Yeah, we have four border friction. Okay, so that math doesn't work out then. They've got 15 development. Don't know. Don't know. Can't figure it out. It's impossible. Can't be done. So thanks for that unnecessary unrest, Bohemia. That's very nice of you. Good lord, we can almost take 6-7. Too many military points. Hey, great economic policy. Wonderful news. Oh no, the Inquisitor's dead. Well, we can still make progress. And we probably do want the uh, Inflation Reduction guy, so let's... Oh, Trader and uh, Inflation Reduction guy. 
This gives us some um, opportunities for a meantime to happen event that increases mercantilism. Hey, France would help us out against Poland, Portugal, and England. I'd, I'd rather not have that happen, Poland. Would you please, like, do something else? Like, change your alliances, please. Don't be allied to Aragon. Well, we've expanded into our node, which is great. We're going to try to avoid having to lower autonomy. Sorry, raise autonomy. Especially if we can get this years of separatism. It's just going to take down our unrest by, like... 5% right off the bat. Just gonna keep on improving relations for a little while. That army suffering attrition makes me nervous. It makes me think that I'm leaving my army in a bad spot. So, gotta love that power projection. Global trade power plus 19.4%. That's pretty damn good. Morale of armies plus 10%. Hugely successful. That's awesome. Yearly, po yearly Republican tradition as well, really. I didn't know that was a thing. 0.1? It's not very much, but okay. Gain five years of separatism. Go ahead. See, when I click on that, it goes to it. That does something that makes sense. It's a shame we lost that guy. Trade trouble, in, trade trouble in Tangiers. So, do we want to attack Portugal? Probably not. Conquer Hum. That is going to be, I think, uh, Serbia. Yes. Convert Euboa to Catholic. Can we convert that one easily? We cannot, not really. But it would help out with further conversions. If we did attack Serbia, who's on tech 5, by the way, it wouldn't be that difficult. What node is it in? It's in the Ragusan node, which does feed into our node, so it couldn't be terrible. 59.8% of your income comes from trade. That's awesome. So what are we going to do with all these military points? Development? Roll generals? We have a slot for a general with all this power projection. We only have 33 army tradition though, so it's not like we can really roll good generals. I think I'd rather do development. The best one I saw was like 312 in Corsica. Okay, that buys us a little bit more time. Look at that, we already have the core. It's Ligurian, it's a primary culture, come on game. Just let me, let me core stuff, you know? Wait a minute, before we do... Before we do these two, let's do the ones over here, because I know that there was some over here is like 431. Just 375. Those are all good. We'll just keep the forts on. We're making great money. Don't want to lose army tradition. Want manpower recovery to be good. Influence is rather unfortunate. So, Milan, you know, you're not going to be able to actually siege this down. In fact, I'm going to cancel military access. And maybe now you'll get stuck. And you'll lose your war. That would be great. Well, there goes our course. Savoy will be forced to give Milan 10% of their income. Savoy will release Montferrat as a sovereign state. Excellent. Okay, so we have a new neighbor. 
A one province miner with no cores on anything. Hmm. They would actually accept vassalization. So if we wanted to, we could just bring him in and just, you know, take land diplomatically. Annexing member states of the empire, though, pisses everyone off. Like, integrating them as well. So if you're going to integrate someone, you'd rather that it be a big country than one, a one province minor. Hmm. This is in our node, so, I mean, we do want it, but... We'll fabricate on it. Milan has stopped rivaling us. Good. Can we build any, uh... Can't even build production efficiency stuff yet. Autonomy increased has expired in Ragusa. We have negative unrest here now. We could actually lower it. At this point. I think the likelihood of having rebellion there is going to be pretty low. It's not an accepted culture, and it's probably not going to become one. Croatian is at 5.3%. Yeah, it's, it's not likely, unless we wanted to expand over here. Take Dalmatia from Hungary. Well, we're going to do the Years of Separatism thing. And that should hopefully bring these guys back down to a pretty reasonable amount of unrest. Stupid unlawful territory doesn't help, but... Let me actually park the army over in Pisa for a bit. And get rid of that unrest altogether. Make the peace and the separatists go away. How about that military tech, eh? Protect against Milan. I will gladly train one troop. For a free reduction in maintenance. So I'm not really sure how we're going to get enough power projection, sorry, uh, mercantilism, considering how crappy it's been, like, I, I missed opportunities to take over any of this stuff, really, like, you know, Tunis was allied with the Ottomans, Ottomans took Byzant Byzantium before I could do anything, um, I, do, I, I do not think I could have taken the navy of Morocco and Tlemcen when Granada was allied to him at the beginning of the game, and then Portugal, I can't take Portugal with them being allied with Castile, like, it's, there's no way to, to take this land. And I'm not a suicidal AI. I'm not going to just take the mission and then just attack. Plus, I also need to prepare right now that the Ottomans are probably going to attack me. So that's unfortunate. Wouldn't it be bad to get a few shipyards so that we can start building our ships more cheaply? Inflation for more military power. Well, I've always felt like this is a good deal. Every time I've analyzed this, it just makes sense to me, you know? Two inflation can be bought down for 75 admin. So, if we got this event four times in a row, then you're getting you're trading 75 admin for 200 military. And that's just always a good deal. Even though admin's really valuable, 75 is way less than 200. It's like, if you had a button, it was just a decision that said, convert 75 admin into 200 diplo, or 200 ad military. I'd probably want to press it almost all the time, even when I have an abundance here. Like, you'd want to click it on cooldown. Granted, it's going to slow down, like, our progress through this, but it's just, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. Especially when we have a, a guy reducing inflation anyway. Agent was discovered. More aggressive expansion. Goody. And the Savoyard. We can block them.
Well, we got the claim. Did you pick up any allies? Good lord, he still lives. You are just a god gen a god leader. Corrode the Republic. Crap, we got military points. Crap. Um Did we get the good one this time? We did. Of course we got it after we fabricated the claim. Did you pick up any allies, Montfrot? You did not. Well, I suppose we better just, you know, kill him then. It's twelve more development. So it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive expansion. I guess we have to do more more development, right? Still think it's going to make sense to do these ones. Now at this point, maybe the 200s make more sense. You know, be just amazing is if you could have this, push this this uh, thing out a little bit, give us a couple more columns, and give us like, you know, manpower per admin or manpower per monarch point, like the thing that it's going to give you. Because that's what you care about. I want to know how many manpower I'm going to get per military point. And I'm having to do the math all mentally. Which is rather annoying. Like 228. Oh well, it's good enough as is. Uh, okay. White piece. Fascinating. Milan has rivaled us again. You need to just make up your mind, buddy. I'm gonna wait till we have full morale. Ah, no, we don't. We don't need it. We don't need it. Please don't die, Prospero. Let's not have him lead that that army. Slightly reduced death chance. We don't get the stability hit when he dies, but I still don't want it to happen. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.